Hello friends, Caleb Wright here and today I'm going to show you how you actually do have a second chance at Bitcoin wealth that you missed with the rise of Bitcoin through altcoins that are going through a similar kind of history right now that Bitcoin's already gone through. So before I can show you how that could be possible, we got to go over a little bit of the history of Bitcoin first. Okay, so we're just kind of sitting here at a coinmarketcap.com uh, chart for Bitcoin here and Bitcoin's worth more than an ounce of gold today. Um, and you see $1,293.62 per Bitcoin right now. Crazy. And we scroll down to the chart. You see it's had a it's had a history on this chart. It doesn't even go back to the first days where Bitcoin first started actually having a value because it's it's been a minute now. Most of us uh, have really missed uh, Bitcoin because it started back in 2009. And as you can see, the earliest this chart goes back to is 2013, and the value was around 100 to 150 dollars, around 90 to 130 dollars, until around uh, November of 2013, where it actually spiked all the way up to over a thousand dollars. So I mean, right there is a 10x kind of gain that some people made that were purchasing Bitcoin around a hundred dollars. But imagine if you had purchased it around a cent and it went to a thousand dollars. That's that's getting to be a, an incredible exponential type of gain where you could uh, multiply you know whatever money that you would put into Bitcoin or whatever money that the early Bitcoiners put in to their Bitcoin when they purchased at any time from 2009 to 2013 in the early days of its value when it hit this thousand dollar peak here you know many of them became uh, mega multi-millionaires overnight basically I mean if you purchased it while it was worth cents and you made it even this far to the 2013 area, you already probably were a millionaire at that point anyways. Just hardly anybody really understood it. And many of these people that have Bitcoin from when it was a fraction of a cent and even when it made it to 100, many of them might not have, might not have even known it. Kind of like the story that I've told you before from one of my earlier videos about Christopher Koch, the uh, Norwegian student who had purchased the Bitcoin for his uh, encryption report in uh, college and then put it away and tucked it away in his wallet and didn't in his bitcoin wallet and didn't know like uh and just forgot about it for a few years until this point where it hit over a thousand dollars then he realized that he had almost a million dollars worth of bitcoin that he had tucked away and that changed his life and as you can see bitcoin is hung around you know it dropped from that peak for some for some years had, if ha, it's had peaks and valleys up till today where it's worth an incredible $1,293.62 today. I'm going to go over to the wiki for the history of Bitcoin. Just scroll down to show you some milestones here with the growth of Bitcoin's price. So Bitcoin first came out in January 2009. And basically from this period from January 2009 to April 2010 it actually had zero value there was no markets or exchange and the user users were mainly cryptography fans who were sending bitcoins for hobby purposes that represented low to no value there was a user who auctioned 10,000 bitcoins for $50 but there was no buyer that was actually found so then comes May 2010, where it actually becomes worth less than one cent. On May 22nd in 2010, Laszlo Hanyex made the first real world transaction by buying two pizzas in Jacksonville, Florida for 10,000 bitcoins. Then you have in July of 2010, it went up to eight cents. In five days, the price grew 1,000%, rising from 0 0.008 cents to eight cents the thousand percent gain so imagine if you'd purchased some bitcoin so you purchased one thousand bitcoin one thousand dollars worth of bitcoin 
at 0 0.008 cents and you multiply that by 1,000. That would actually come out to $1 million. You could have made an increase to $1 million if you purchased just $1,000 worth of Bitcoin at 0 0.008 cents per coin and if it just went up to 8 cents. That's a thousand percent gain. Then you have in February 2011, through April 2011, Bitcoin gains parity with the US dollar. It becomes worth a dollar and over. Then you have July 8th of 2011, where it hits the top of a first bubble, followed by a first price drop. It hit $31 and it came back down um, sharply. Obviously, you see here in December of 2011, it was worth only $2. So it came down far because obviously the market was not ready for Bitcoin at all in 2013 or 2011 here. All right. Then you have in 2000, December 2012, it slowly rises to $13 a coin. Wow. Just looking at this, this kind of reminds me of the pattern of other altcoins that I've seen in their growth. It's basically a similar cycle of growth in the market boom and bust cycles but growth all right and that's what we're seeing here with bitcoin in april 11th of 2013 it rises as high as 266 dollars a coin top of a price rally during which the value is growing five to ten percent daily then we have may in 2013 where it's basically you know it's come down from there but it's maintaining a floor around 130 dollars basically stable again slowly rising a little bit later in June 2013, it's back down to around $100. It even drops to as low as $70 per coin. But then in November 2013, it roars back up to $350. To a, this is where that spike period happens, where it reaches a high of $1,200, and $1,242. All right. Then, of course, we have the history of from that price peak that I showed you on the chart out there. Um, to where we are today and along this whole way there were opportunities to make money you see in each of these uh, valleys followed by a big spike followed by a drop followed by another big spike those are day trading opportunities for people that were trading Bitcoin against the US dollar you could have multiplied your Bitcoin holdings which ultimately mega multiplied your dollar value Okay, because the more Bitcoin you have, obviously, the more dollars you have is what's worth more Bitcoin, clearly. Okay, so as a day trader, like what I teach in Bitcoin Lifestyles Club in my educational uh, Bitcoin slash crypto trading and profit methods course, you're going to know, you're going to learn how to trade the US dollar against Bitcoin and how to trade altcoins against the US dollar. So you're definitely going to want to check that out. But I just wanted to show you the history of the Bitcoin price and how that altcoins give you a similar opportunity now. Because there's altcoins right now. There are altcoins that are worth considerable at this point. Okay, because there, there's actually altcoins where you've kind of missed it like with Bitcoin not as far along because there's no coin there's no other coins out there in the cryptocurrency industry that are worth as much as Bitcoin but there are ones that are really gaining in the market all right we have coins out there right now today that are trading for upwards of $60 a coin there's one I know of this trading for around $40 a coin uh, there's one another popular one trading around eleven dollars a coin, fifteen. Um, there's some up and comers around the one to two to three dollar range, and then there are and and uh, as you can see, any of these prices that I'm that I'm throwing out there, you would you would have still loved to purchase Bitcoin at those prices, okay? Because obviously, if you're you know attend from a hundred dollars. A coin even you know or even twenty dollars a coin Bitcoin if you made it to today with any you purchased you would that would be a, a major increase of value so that's what these coins represent in the future of the cryptocurrency industry because the future of the cryptocurrency market this global financial market which represents the money of uh, the moving money of all the money in the world basically is it eventually once it absorbs Forex and it becomes the main money market outside of the fiat markets 
um it basically represents the flow of all uh money in the world and there's plenty of room for 10 to perhaps maybe as much as 20 different top players in the cryptocurrency industry definitely five to ten possibly 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 more okay um because this is a global market and it's huge and there's going to be uh some competing services just like there's been competing currencies there's going to be competing cryptocurrencies and so these cryptocurrencies are competing for market share with not only a faster technology than bitcoin but they're bringing like other innovations to the table like some of these cryptocurrencies they provide unique services um like data encryption and storage i've seen in, in one cryptocurrency offered smart contracts in one which is a solution uh, a blockchain solution used by fortune 500 companies um it's an enterprise level solution um and uh there's, there's various uh decentralized marketplaces one, one coin I, that I've uh, really loved to uh, trade and that I've invested heavily in ha is just launching its decentralized marketplace at the end of this month. And uh, that's one coin that's been steadily rising through this year, even through last year when I first started uh, trading it. And uh, one that I really see just, uh, it's probably going to go somewhere dollar over by the end of this year. I'm not going to mention what one it is. Uh, you know we, we can't predict the exact future but based on what i've seen with other coins and in, in my study of this market for a couple of years i've identified some coins that have the potential to really break out this year that are still trading for mere pennies was fractions of a cent earlier this year and uh so i'm gonna just show you an example of one altcoin okay this is one of my favorite ones that i like to trade has a lot of volatile movement that allows me to jump in and out with my day trading and reap profits building upon my Bitcoin position. Of course, I do hold a lot of this coin that I purchased uh, for long-term reasons because I see I see uh, this coin here, Ripple, also known as XRP, the call letters that you'd find on the exchange to trade. This coin in particular is uh, basically uh, working with a consortium of banks of 40 banks in Japan and uh, banks from different countries all over the world uh, deploying their ripple RCL uh, money transfer solution that basically uh, improves the speed and the uh, and drastically lowers the cost of moving money across borders and and uh, lowers the cost of remittances um and and you have countries that are struggling with their fiat currency like india um who basically uh banned their paper currency they and now they don't have a, they're having a fiat currency problem where they've really adopted bitcoin really heavily and actually they're uh, i was reading with one of their ceo blog posts uh recently that they basically were already in talks as of like a month or two ago to employ the ripple system um in the banking system in india and so they're expanding um in, in the cryptocurrency and in the financial sector really loved by the banks and uh this this coin has a lot of attention on it um i can even find it trending in google in the search results in the google trends for search search terms like buy xrp and buy ripple which um are signs to me because you can see with with other coins like uh bitcoin um there's there's a correlation with uh with a search trend when there's a higher number of searches that are happening on google for a coin you can actually see a correlation with the price rising and i've seen that with ripple an increasing uh growth of interest of this coin over the past year in particular even though it's been around for a few years now in in, in mainly a beta stage um i've seen the interests uh of this coin online grow evidentially through google trends as i've watched the price rise and so i've i've seen things here that helps me to figure out what are the good players in the industry where i would want to park some of my own money and do some trading okay so if we look at the chart here and see ripple similar kind of history with bit to bitcoin you see it kind of came out 
actually came out kind of worth uh i don't know if this actually goes back to the first day where ripple started here but um you know i had a big spike in the beginning because it was in a beta you know the spike of value didn't really support the value that ripple was providing to the market which was none at that point so it wasn't an implementation okay and it kind of just sinks down to a very low value over time has another speculative bubble and then we're basically to this year 2017 last year is pretty much flat like most of last year it went down to an all-time low actually last year around 400 satoshis that's around four cents per coin and it spiked up just recently in previous month in the previous couple past couple months ago um to around uh six cents almost six cents per coin okay and it's been holding steady trading between two and three cents per coin for a little bit now and i kind of predicted with everything that was going on with this coin development wise and, and with its partnerships with the banks that this is one i kind of myself i see into the future that i think this coin is going to rise slowly and steadily through this year and uh so i've you know got a bunch low i still would consider it low i mean if you consider it by bitcoin standards i mean if you look at this pricing and we're still talking five down to you know right now trading two to three cents per coin now if you went from two to three cents to a coin just to a dollar i mean you're talking about um almost a one thousand percent gain which is like we were talking about before um if you had put one thousand dollars into bitcoin when it was just uh almost one cent it was like 0 0.008 cents and it went to a dollar that would make you a million dollars okay so we have like better faster more efficient technologies that are coming out like in ripple okay that are still very low in value right now and even if it just went to a, just a fraction of what bitcoin was even if, even just a dollar um you're talking massive types of gains so the cryptocurrency industry gives these opportunities with altcoins and the new technologies it's basically if you were to compare the cryptocurrency industry to uh the launch of the internet in the 90s okay you have the major internet browser uh or search engine providers okay so there was first netscape right that was like one of the first major entities that people knew about was the uh netscape browser um and then next came aol and uh and then came google and so there is more first there was a main player okay like there was netscape like bitcoin's kind of like the netscape it's the first you know it's the first cryptocurrency coin netscape was like the first internet browser right but then more players came along it became more competitive and uh you know newer technologies newer search engine algorithms came along and they dominated okay and so that's kind of like what i foresee and what a lot of the experts foresee happening with bitcoin moving into the future is that these new technologies are going to come along and bitcoin is going they're going to take market share from bitcoin and uh and people are going to experience the bitcoin wealth opportunity all over again the ones who have parked some money in the right altcoins and so I'm just going to zoom in just a little bit closer here. I think it'll give us a little bit more detail. I can change it to the one day candlestick chart here. Yeah, we'll do that. Actually, I don't have an hour. Yeah, one day. Let me just stretch this out a little bit. Now just taking a look at ripple here in terms of trading not only is there obviously the long-term opportunity but you can actually make money on ripple on a regular basis put it to the three minute chart perhaps here got to get this chart looking better because it has good volatility even though it's relatively stable it has good volatility within a range that means a range in price from where people are purchasing it and where they're selling it and the and that the market moves kind of up and down um i'll just move over to this chart okay and as you can see we have today's price movement okay over the past couple of days from the 25th to the 26th okay is what this chart represents here now, as you can see 
these bottoms of these candlesticks here where I'm putting my cursor um, the lows have pretty much been 2500 Satoshi it's about 2.5 cents or so that was yesterday and it hit a high of 2644 Satoshi and it's come all the way down to 2477 Satoshi so if we look here from 2509 to 2644 um, that's about that's about a 5% uh, maybe 6% gain okay so if you purchased ripple here now and I would suggest uh, I mean I'm not suggesting any you know do what you want you know I'm just speaking in hypothetical terms but if you wanted to make money actively through day trading um, what I've been doing is things like catching the lows right here okay at 2514 and then I would sell up here and I'd make about six percent you know maybe using however much Bitcoin I was using maybe say if I came in with one Bitcoin and purchased ripple right here I caught this uh, little candle down where someone sold I got some ripple and then I managed to sell up here somewhere towards the peak then I would make uh, about six percent on my Bitcoin which is uh, well ten percent of a Bitcoin would be about hundred and twenty dollars so six percent you know it's about uh, maybe six fifty sixty dollars right okay so if you're using you know more money obviously it would be more um, and uh, when you when you start day trading though it's best to really start uh, small with the, the beautiful thing about trading cryptocurrencies you can really come in here and trade with any amount of money you can come in here with 20 bucks and trade with just a small amount of satoshis get used to it have it be no sweat at all to you and see how you can multiply your money through the through the you know taking advantage of the fluctuates fluctuations of the market because it's more powerful to be a trading type of investor than it is to be a point A to point B investor because what you'll have okay if I spread this chart out here okay let's just say we'll look at say someone came in and they purchased ripple right here okay point A all right and it rose it did that big spike but since that they're a point A to point B investor they didn't take advantage of profit taking up in the spike so it came all the way back down and now we're back to where we are today and yes they are up okay they're up from say if they purchased here 2000 Satoshi up to where it is today 2600 Satoshi okay they are actually up about 27 percent which is great okay but they could have sold up here and they could have rebought even more coins down here and that would actually make them up a much higher percentage because you they would have averaged down you would have averaged down in the cost of your coins because you would have profited big time you would have multiplied your Bitcoin that you initially entered with and then ripple would have came back down and you would have noticed it at a nice low compared to where it had spiked and you could have bought you know maybe even twice as much or three times as much ripple because from 2000 to where it peaked 6000 that's that's a triple that's 300 percent so um you could have sold a chunk up there then it could have come back down here and i would have purchased more and be ready for the next possible spike where you could do it all over again but a point a to point b investor will just go from this value to here okay even though all this happened here they'll they'll miss out on all that profit opportunity and they'll just go to the end of the year or to wherever point b is which is now point a being the entry of the investment point b being to now and uh you're just where you're at so as you can see the power is in trading the, the profit potential is in trading you can really take control of your life financially with these opportunities that are happening as you can see daily for us to make really 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 nice uh, gains like look right here um, this was on the 20th ripple was as low as 2200 Satoshi and then over the course of a day and a half it rose up to 2800 Satoshi that's getting closer to um, maybe like a 40% gain or so that's pretty significant um, if you're playing with a bunch of bitcoins or whether you're playing with a small amount of satoshis you know, you're gonna make a nice percentage 
uh, right there. So just wanted to show you, okay? I want to show you through giving you the history of what happened with the price of Bitcoin and the development of Bitcoin and it coming up from being basically worth nothing used by only hobbyists to actually starting to be used as uh, real money and gaining value in the market to where it is today at almost $1,300 per coin and having an incredible uh, outlet of places that you can use it to spend. Uh, a huge merchant base uh, online and around the world, Bitcoin ATMs around the world. Uh, and with a U.S. government SEC reconsidering the Winklevoss uh, twins, uh, Gemini, Bitcoin exchange traded fund. Um, if that actually passes, wow, Bitcoin will go through the roof. And all the, it, it's really hard to conceive the, the true profit potential um, of the involvement of being involved with Bitcoin and being involved with trading it at this point, because really at the stage we are at with this technology and its advancement and adoption in the world, um, and as far as we've come with Bitcoin, we still have an incredible opportunity here with altcoins and, and, and even with still with Bitcoin, um, believe it or not, it's just not the same as going from pennies to whatever it's going to go to. All right. And that's why the altcoins are so important. And that's why I recommend for you to, you know, whether it's uh, in the post or the email or under or on this video, wherever you're checking it out to use the link that's associated um, underneath the video or, or in, in the post, in the message, all right, to check out Bitcoin Lifestyles Club, my educational course, which is going to teach you whether you're a complete newbie or somebody that's already using Bitcoin and possibly in the altcoins, okay? I'm, if you're the newbie, I'm going to take you step by step with how-to tutorials on how to use, how to get, use Bitcoin, how to get your Bitcoin wallet, secure it how to use the cryptocurrency exchanges and start trading. I'm going to give you the fundamentals. I'm going to give you the training. I'm going to give you my market research, okay, of the coins that I've identified. These other, because there's a bunch of other coins I'm making really nice money with trading and with long-term prospects that I've discovered over these years as I've been researching this industry. And not only am I teaching uh, how to use Bitcoin, how to trade it, and I'm providing you with profit methods and strategies from basic to advanced on trading and in general with Bitcoin. But basically, you're going to also gain access to my crypto day trading chat group, all right, where we're talking about the market on a daily basis and we're providing our you know, thoughts, we're, we're telling about what trades that we're entering into. Um, we're providing our thoughts on our analysis and we have a team of people in there who are all doing the same thing because it's more powerful to be uh, working with other people rather than going it alone. Okay. And, and that's the whole point of gaining access to my course, Bitcoin Lifestyles Club. Okay. So you can start living the Bitcoin lifestyle like me too. So you can uh, replace your fiat currency income eventually with income from trading cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, the growth of this industry, you can really change your life. Like I have and so many other people that I know who have engaged in cryptocurrency and Bitcoin over the past few years, just by starting to take action now. And my course is a good way for you to, to do that, a good low cost way for you to gain access to a priceless, multi-million dollar potential education, basically, where you can enrich your mind to a multi-million dollar potential with the knowledge of this industry, okay? Um, and, you know, of course, depending on how that you use that information within the course, um, and, and uh, you know, not, not, I can't guarantee any results, of course, okay? But uh, I know that if you educate yourself and take action with this industry, the sky is truly the limit for you, as I see it for me. And that's the reason why I came up with this course, because I'm trying to unlock uh, people's you know, lives, you know, I've, my life has been unlocked financially and it's better than it's ever been thanks to my involvement in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. And I just want to bless as many people with this information and the opportunity to possibly be able to take action um, as that I can. And so you have the ability to cut the whole learning curve out of it. 
cut the whole learning curve out of getting involved with Bitcoin, getting involved with altcoins. Um, you don't have to, you aren't going to have to research the market for years. I've already done that for you. All right. And I got this uh, support. I got the support, the training, the knowledge and the community for you to jump into and have confidence entering into the world of Bitcoin. Or if you're already involved, taking your skill level and, uh, you know, taking your trading to a whole nother level so you can join with me in my footsteps as I learn and earn in this industry is I take everything that I learn that I haven't already put in this course all right um, everything that I have planned for it moving forward and as everything that I ever learn that turns me a dollar I'm gonna put into this course for you all right and for my members because I love you guys just want you to succeed you know whether you're with me or not um, you gotta check this out so Check out the link to BitcoinLifestyles.club right underneath this video in the description or up in the post. Caleb right here. You can also use the contact information underneath the video. You can email me back or you can reply to my post underneath the video or you can send me a private message if you're already connected to me on Facebook and I would love to talk to you about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, how I can help you get started with my course, get you plugged into my commu community and you know, open up the ceiling for you to the sky and into outer space for your potential. I um, hope you enjoyed this video and got massive value. Caleb Wright signing off and catch you on the next Bitcoin Lifestyles Club video.